Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. I am Amalgam Ash, and I am playing RPG in a Loop by Scattygat. I've already elevated this game to second favorite after Fex's In Mortui. We visited a variety of places. Okay. Okay, I was pretty sure that this was the way I was supposed to go. <clears throat> so if you missed my first episode playing through this, I would stop right now and go watch that, because then you get the context. Uh, but for those of you who are returning, yes, I still love the Trolls Lair. It's still one of my favorite places I think I've ever seen in an RPG in a box game. We've got to talk to Vendi. we got to sell to Vendi, not buy from Vendi. And I'd like to sell... I'll sell a mushroom. The reason that I need to sell that mushroom is so I can push my gold right up over the limit there. Uh, not limit, it's, a, it's, a, it's 11 gold now. And we're gonna go run to the guard in front of this gate and bribe him. He, uh, he wanted us to bribe him. It's not like... It's, it's not like we're doing anything morally wrong here. He, he wanted us to bribe him. Do you have the gold you promised me? Of course. Hand over ten gold coins to the kobold guardian. Thank you very much. Now I guess you're finally a friend of mine. Thank you, friend. You want to talk? You want to hang out? Nice to meet you again. How may I help you? So I'm looking for kobold the kobold. You're in the right place. Please come in. Uh, I'm looking for an exit way. Alright, so I think I'll let you do what you have been doing so far. See you around. Okay, that's fair. That's King of the Kobolds. Do you guys have anything to say? I don't think so. And that's fine. This is an impressive thing to see when you walk through the gates. Good visual direction, if I may be so bold. Ah, uh, you're Kobold, the Kobold. I love the voices, so you're finally here in the presence of the Great Kobold, Lord of the Kobolds. Yeah, I... I know, I know, you're still looking for the artifact. In fact, yes, you see, I... And I do bet that big-headed stone told you to come here. Yes, that's right, because I... Yes, yes, all right, it's the same old story. Let's get a move on, then. I can't waste time talking to you all the day long. Of course, it, it's just that I... You talk too much, and you don't even understand a blessed thing. You simply come here and you're expecting me to help you in the search of an artifact as if I had nothing better to do. That's crazy. First of all, such an artifact doesn't exist. Whenever you need it, you have to rebuild it. It can only be used once. Just once? You have a right to know, but that big-headed stone should have already answered all of your questions. And it's a really long story, and you've already learned it. But I don't remember anything. Of course, it's an obvious conclusion. But that's really funny, isn't it? Listen to me. Here there is no free will. You're subject to someone else's will, and you can't act or say anything at your discretion. But that's not true. Are they talking about me controlling the character? Is that what they're doing? Is that the meta? Don't be silly. Do what I tell you, and everything's going to be all right. You need to assemble all four sacred fragments to rebuild the artifact. Each fragment must be built in a special forge. You're lucky, because I know where all four forges are. The first one is right here. Follow me, and don't touch anything. And he clicks switch. Follow me and he go through door. So... Touch. 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 You don't tell me what to do. I do what I want. I'm not going in there, actually. It's kind of scary looking. However... Touch. Oh, I can't, I can't, I can't trap him in there. Hi, I'm a slow learner. The first forge you need is here, just behind me. You shall use it to create the first artifact piece. Let's turn it on and move on. I'm getting tired of being your personal guide. Just one moment. Hold on. Come on, take a look. Don't just stand there with your hands in your pockets. Do something. Uh, look. Use this ancient artifact to build one of the four parts of the oracle. Ten stones, one... Blue potion. I can't craft that yet. I don't have a blue potion. Now what else do you want from me? Where can I find some stones? 
You can get all the stones you need going in the next room and venturing out to a dungeon over there. Remember, you need 10 healthy potions to first forge the first stone, in addition to the potion, of course. You need 10 healthy potions? I think you mean 10 stones. Now, what else do you want from me? What is this potion? A permanent health potion. You can use it to forge stones. You can drink it and forever increase your maximum health. But if I drink the potion, I'll not be able to use it and forge the stone. Powers of observation. Well done. Every time we've met, you've always been boring me to death with your same old questions, and every time I've always been fed up repeating myself. If you bring me ten health potions, I'll turn them into a permanent health potion. We're gonna get ten of those. Have fun hunting some trolls. They always have some potions in their rucksacks. Got it. Sorry to bother you. I'm gonna get a move on. We have a dungeon to explore, so let's do that and die repeatedly over and over again. Let's check out this, uh... Rock sack real quick. Right. Eat. <clears throat> Eat a bunch of food. That ought to help us survive whatever comes our way. Nice. I need a key. Found a stone. Crap. I knew that that was going to be a problem. Oh, God. I can throw rocks at him from behind. Yes! Slay. Oh, man. There's a puzzle to solve here. No, there's not. There's a path to walk, is what there is. Hey, you. Just get rid of those guys before I even have to worry about them. How about that? Oh, well, that's a rock. Almost got scared by the rock. Okay. Not that one. Not that one. Lovely choice of music, by the way. Loving that. Not that one, and not that one. Okay. How many rocks do I have left? Five? That's that's good enough. Alright, I think the point is to find the doors that open rather than try to open any doors. Yes. Pick up a stone. I picked up an iron key. However, I can still hear... Oh, God. Got him. Got him. That wasn't too bad. I can handle them in melee if I have to, which... Hello there. I don't... I don't hear anymore. I think that might be the end of the spider bros. But I panicked a little bit and now I'm not sure where I am. All right, all right, I'm good now. This way? I've been through here. I didn't go the other way yet. Let's go the other way. Oh god, hi, hi, how you doing? Hey, 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 hoo ha ho hoo ha ho Didn't expect that. We're back on track. Actually, we are at, at a net positive. Okay, good, good, good. This is this is where I started. 
Oh. And going straight was... I haven't been through here before. A little bit of slowdown. A bit of lag. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh god. Oh no. No 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 no. Ah oh, hey, what? Ah oh, crap. I couldn't move. I don't know what happened. I was not able to move anymore. I saw the stone face. Since I'm down here, I might as well look just a little bit. There might not be anything down here of import. But I'd feel really dumb if I missed out on some epic weapon or something, you know? Like, I don't think that's the case. But I've also got a key, and, um... I could use that for a chest. Oh, hi. I guess I'll talk to you after all. Welcome back. You died in the level dungeon. Okay. Well, you have a sling. Learn how to defend yourself against your enemies and how to defeat them. And remember that violence is not always the right choice. Okay. Let's go back to where I was when I died. We're not supposed to be here. Uh... <clears throat> are you sure? You are not supposed to be here. Okay. I want to start over from the beginning. What does that do? Oh, no! So it truly was, like, a start over option. Well... I'm curious about one thing, and one thing only. Uh, skip the intro this time around, and get in here, and make a little bit of progress. Click on wall, move through corridor. Curious, curious, this will be worth it, trust me. Pick up stone. Um... Talk to Rock Man. I want to find my way out. Here you're on the freedom path. We'll see. And he still tells me to go look for Kobold the Kobold, so that's interesting. Freedom versus knowledge. Freedom versus knowledge. Open up our sack. Grab this bread. Grab this health. Leave, close the chest, and now I can't save. Okay, so there isn't a save for this game, uh, but that's totally fine. That's a bug that's being looked at and worked on uh, in the game engine itself, um, as far as I can tell at the time of this video. And that's okay. I can return to this once all of that is ironed out. And when substantial content has been added, I'm sure I, I had a lot to explore yet uh, still. But uh, for now, I'll wait until there's no way for me to get trapped <laughs> in in the in the in the bloody basement dungeon area. Uh, Scattergat did an awesome job with this, and I'm really excited about it. So I will say no more. Um, thank you guys for watching me play up to this point. Any comments you'd like to give down below is the place to do it. And of course, there will be a link in the description if you'd like to check this game out for yourself. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already for more content just like this. I love showcasing people's work and playing through it with an indie set of eyes. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video. So till then, have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye for now.